I just finished Reboot not too long ago, so um, I was really excited about it. It was really refreshing and a lot different. But I did have a question, because I know everybody's been into this zombie type deal, and I know that's kind of close to what Reboot's like, so why not go full out zombie? You know what's really funny is, um, so I never, that when I first wrote the book, there was like three uh, mentions of zombies, like Ren compares herself to a zombie at one point, um, right. and when it's sent to my agent, she sent it to a film person in Hollywood, they were both like, zombies are over, you can't mention zombies. Okay, so I took it out, and the, the whole, like, and when it sold and everything, the whole marketing thing was, we need to distinguish this from zombies. They can't be like that because they're over. And I, I thought it was really close. Because this was during, when she told me zombies were over, it was, like, before the second season of The Walking Dead. Really? <laughs> really over. And I don't think they'll ever be over. Right. But I did want to sort of put a new twist on it, because I didn't want their flesh to be um, rotting off, because I wanted to do romance. I love oh. romance, I love like, character development, and so if there are mindless flesh rotting zombies, it just wouldn't have been as much fun for me to write, to be honest. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, Ren. She confused me a little bit because she was like this really hardcore, just no emotion, mm -hmm. just completely dedicated to her job. They tell her what to do, she does it. No questions asked, no matter what. Yeah. But then here comes this one boy, and he turns her five years completely upside down. And you just see Ren change from this badass to just almost like a falling to her knees type schoolgirl. Yeah. Was that really kind of hard to transition the character from being completely badass to <laughs> to kind of like a giggling schoolgirl? You know, it, it wasn't. It's one of the interesting things about having the book uh, go out in the world is because that's not something that I thought of until um, until afterwards, until I got read a reaction that a lot of people said that. There. And they, um, I think, I think for me it's because I always knew at the beginning that she says she has no emotions, but that she really does. Um, and I, that's one of the things that if I could go back and like edit some things, I think that I would actually like maybe make her even a little bit softer at the beginning, or a little bit, or or maybe a little bit more of a hint that she's suppressing these emotions and it's not that she doesn't have them because it has confused some people. Uh, but in a way, I'm also glad that I'm not allowed to do that because you know it's done. I need to right. let go. <laughs> um, but so it wasn't really that hard because I, I think since I felt like I had such an understanding of, of the character that she really wanted to be out of the situation, she just couldn't even admit it to herself yet and so Callum sort of brought that out and so it came very quickly because it had been suppressed for so long that it all came up at once. Right. Okay, let's see. <clears throat> this was fast. Okay. So if you were to have dinner with any author, dead or alive, who would you pick? But most of my classes were history. And I was especially fast. Question. I feel like I would pick J.K. Rowling. Rowling. I always like to say it wrong. I think it's Rowling. I don't I think know. she came out and was like, it's rolling. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's I think it's rolling too. So I think maybe JK Rowling just because I love those books. And there I don't read a lot of books twice anymore and I've read most of them twice. Um, and I mean I just want to ask world building questions and I mean life questions too, like how she handled the celebrity and at what at one point her life went from just being a writer to being a superstar. because um, to me that sounds really scary because most writers want to stay home and write and they don't we're, we're not actors, we're not musicians. <laughs> right. <laughs> be strange at that level of fame, you know? Right, right. No, I completely agree. That series holds a, like, just a really close place in my heart, so I'm always excited to hear J.K. <laughs> um, what is, I guess, let me see, we're going through this too fast. I, that's, I, I tend to be very, like, quick to I don't, the point. I don't uh, ramble as much. <laughs> well, you live in L.A. now, yeah. so, um, now that you, are you a full time writer now? Mm -hmm. Just I am full time. A full time writer. After I got my deal, the deal for reboot, yeah, um, I, I was really lucky. I was able to quit my job, and it was actually a job I liked, but that wasn't really you know, like, that, like no going what, anywhere. Like, it was kind of just an entry level job that I enjoyed. Um, so I figured, well, I'll leave that. And, <laughs> right. and what's interesting is I went to college, I went to grad school. I graduated from grad school in 07, 08. Um, and so when I got a book deal, that was the first job security I ever had. I've never worked for a company that didn't do massive layoffs because I entered the job world when the economy collapsed. Wow. <laughs> so everyone says, don't quit your day job. I'm like, really? Book deals? I've never had this much job security ever. <laughs> like, you guys are insane. I don't know which world you live in. <laughs> Obviously not mine. <laughs> I live in the world where everyone's getting fired. <laughs> um, is, you're Austin native. I am, yeah. 
is was LA kind of like a huge difference compared to Texas? <laughs> you know, it actually really wasn't because I, I went to grad school in Boston, so I went from Austin or I graduated from AM and I went straight to Boston for grad school for two years. Um, and that was a, that was a switch. That was weird. I mean, that that was cold, and the people are very different. And I wouldn't say they're rude; they're just more abrupt. And it, so it takes a long time to get used to. And the public transportation. And I feel like in Texas, for me anyway, I was taught you know you don't go out. The girls don't go out at night. You don't. You stay. You know, you get in your car. You call your parents or whatever. Because I was still really young. Uh, that's not how it is in Boston. Like midnight, you take the subway. Right. <laughs> so I'm terrified a lot. <laughs> So Los Angeles is a better fit for me because everyone is in their car. And right. It's sort of, uh, Los Angeles is basically a bunch of suburbs stuck together. So I feel more comfortable there and the weather is fantastic. Oh, I can imagine. No humidity. I forget. I come back here and I'm like, it's so humid. I'm sweating. I know, that's how we felt this morning. I was like, I cannot breathe now. What? Where did this air come from? Get into like the city and the buildings are just right there it's almost like it just traps all that heat in there it's, yeah <laughs> so reboot what's what's next after the um, reboot series? it's so it's a duology so the the sequel comes out may 6th and we're revealing the uh, title and cover like the week of october 10th actually so, so that's right around the corner yeah so it's, i mean i'm glad because i had to keep they keep telling me to keep the title a secret which i think is silly but i'm always worried i'm gonna slip <laughs> um so then it's over and then um you know i'm not sure i um, I have some ideas for for different novels, and I'm kind of going to figure out which one seems best. I think sci-fi is waning a little bit, so I'd like to move to like fantasy, maybe. I have a lot of contemporary ideas, but I think contemporary is going to wait just a little bit until people actually know who I am. You know? Yay, fantasy! I love fantasy. Like, I do too. Series is, I love it so much. I haven't started it yet. There's just so many books and so little time. Oh my gosh, yes. I. I I don't even finish a lot of series these days. Like, the fact that I've read all three of Ray's books is impressive, because I, I read, like, the first ones now, because I want to know what they're about, and then I can't ever get to the other ones. Right. I totally understand that. <laughs> well, now I'm excited. I am, too. We get to find out the title and see the cover. Because I love the cover of Reboot. Oh, thank you. Love it. I do, I'm a big Matrix fan, and that's kind of what, looking at that, I know it's the barcode, but just in my mind, I'm like, that kind of looks like the Matrix title. <laughs> I know, I've never heard that. I like it. Yeah. I think you like the, the second one too, though, because the sequel is it's the very similar type of cover, just different colors. So. Cool. 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 Excited. Um, I haven't read it yet, so. Oh no. Um, Most so, people haven't. <laughs> no, I bought it. Well, when we were at Yab Fest. Right. We yeah. bought it, mm -hmm. but I was just, I was like, I'm going to read this, I'm going to read this, and then life got in the way, and then yeah, no, other responsibilities got in the way, and I'm like, oh my God, I'm never going to have time to read everything. <laughs> yeah, eventually you have to start skimming books. <laughs> just too much. Yeah. Just I'm, read the front and then read the back and say, okay, cool. The idea, yeah, first and last page. <laughs> she used I to do that. I have a bad habit of doing that. Well, see, it's not so bad anymore because the Kindle kind of got me out of that habit. Since you can't really tell exactly where everything is. But I had a really bad habit of, before I even started it, I would read the last sentence every time. And so I would read it, and I would be confused, but then I'd start reading it, and I'm kind of like, what's going on? <laughs> like, how did you get there? <laughs> so it's kind of funny. I did that with yours. <laughs> That's what. No, it doesn't. It doesn't bother me. I, when I, I you know, Champion by Marie Lu comes out next month, I don't know if I can handle it. I'm gonna have to read the last one. Just the last. I, I have to find. I can't. My emotions. <laughs> That's kind of how I'm feeling about Allegiant next month. I'm like, oh, yeah. I'm going to have to read that last sentence. <laughs> yes. I don't know if I want to. I don't know if I want to read the book. I know. Sometimes it's just too much. <laughs> I'm just like, yes, I'm going to read it. No, I'm not ready for that yet. Oh, I just, I do it to myself. I'm like, and then I read it. I'm like, no. Why did I read it? Because I can't stop myself. Yeah. I just can't stop. I can't either. Okay, now we have some... Um, kind of lightning type questions. Bonus questions. Bonus questions. <laughs> Bonus questions. Okay, cool. okay, we're gonna do kind of favorite. Favorite food. Potatoes. <laughs> bands. Sorry, bands. Oh, uh, Mumford and Sons. Mumford and Sons. Yes. Yes. Okay, books. It's. I know that's probably kind of hard because there's just so many good ones. So just. However many. Um, well, if if I stay in where she went, or like two of my ultimate, I really love them. And um, and Legend and the Legend series by Marie Lou. I feel like I'm 
And they're like, oh, and the Girl of Fire Thorns series by Ray Carson. You finished that one. <laughs> I read all three of those. <laughs> Movies. Um, oh, Back to the Future. And It's a Wonderful Life. I just watched Back to the Future <laughs> 2 last night. For the first time? No. Oh, okay. No, not for the first no, time. Like it's a favorite. Yeah. 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 But, yeah, I was like, oh, I love these movies. Yeah. Song. Song? Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, the Push by Matchbox 20 was my very favorite song growing up. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. And I'll ask you just a really weird question. What would your stripper name be? Super name. No, stripper. Stripper name. Stripper name. That's, yeah. that's probably easier, actually. <laughs> Isn't it supposed to be like your, your dog and your street? street yeah. So, Piper loves water. Oh, see, that's cool. Mine's retarded. <laughs> what is it? It's Princess Wayne. <laughs> Princess Wayne. That's actually really good. <laughs> I don't have one. No. I grew up in rural area. Rural areas, so I always had like county road, oh, yeah. blah 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 blah, and I'm like, no, I can't do these games. So, your name would be like Bubba County Road 15. Yes. <laughs> so I'm like, I don't even play this game. Yeah. This game beats me. It is pretty funny, but that's all I've got. That's all I've got. Um, thanks for talking with us. Thank you. We're excited. Go. My mom 